Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, today we're going to be playing some uh, War Thunder. Um, we're probably just going to play one quick battle here. Um, we're going to be playing the B25J1, uh, which is the first B25. Um, it's a pretty sweet little bomber here. Um, I currently have two decals on this. Um, as you can see here, I have the uh, two little uh, star medals. I'm going to have those dual sided so they appear on both sides of the plane. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's for uh, ground target destruction. Um, I believe it's like 50 ground targets or something like that. You get these. Um, so I thought those were pretty cool. And then also, because the B 25 only has a star on the left wing, um, I went ahead and just do this uh, white star on the right wing. Uh, that way it kind of looks uh, equal. Uh, looks a little balanced out more. Um, also, I can show you uh, the modifications that we're running currently on this. Um, there's five MGs, five turrets. Uh, for our bomb load, we are running four or five hundred pound bombs. Um, currently, I can run twelve one hundreds, four two fifties, eight one hundreds, four two fifties. I can run eight two fifties. I can run eight one hundreds and two five hundreds, or I can run four five hundreds. Um, I prefer the bigger bomb. Um, currently, I'm in the process of researching to get these three one thousands. Um, that's what I really want. Um, so you'll see here, um, it's in the process of being researched. Um, I've unlocked everything else except for um, I have half of the research done on the uh, twelve millimeter MG turrets, and then I have no research done on these uh, thousand pound bombs uh, but we're working on those right now uh, also uh, for my main uh, machine gun belt I run uh, universal bullets and then for my turrets I run only piercing um, so I don't know what your setup is uh, if you guys play War Thunder uh, if you have this B25 I don't know what your setup is uh, but that's what I prefer to run uh, just my thing uh, so let's go ahead and play an arcade style battle. Um, along with the B-25, um, you'll probably end up seeing the A-20, um, maybe the Avenger, and maybe the Dauntless. Um, depending on what gets shot down and what happens. Um, sometimes I get some fighters on my tail with this B-25. I can shake them pretty well. And other times I get fighters on my tail with this B-25 and uh, I have a hard time either getting away from them or shooting them down, so uh, we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and wait to battle. Okay, well we were getting a bad network connection there, but that went away, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. Um, this here is a uh, ground target bombing uh, type mission. Uh, you have to bomb out three bases. Um, once you get all three bases, um, then you can bomb out the uh, airstrip. Um, also, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of uh, red targets around that center uh, kind of mountain island there. Um, all those are AA and uh, tanks and trucks and all kinds of things. Uh, so those got to be bombed out too, creating another bad network connection. I don't know why, but we are. Um, so you have to uh, bomb those out. And uh, our goal is to try to get that red bar at the top uh, to go down before our blue bar goes down. Um, when you bomb out these bases and then eventually the airfield, uh, by bombing those out, you get um, a large section of the bar will drop uh, once you completely destroy it. And then uh, destroying the ground targets, each one of them takes a small little portion of the bar away. And then you also get uh, a little portion of the bar down for each uh, fighter kill, I believe, you get, or each plane you shoot down. I believe that has something to do with it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go into our bomb site here. Slowly up. Approaching this first base. 
we're gonna run zoom in. Now we should be able to come up on her pretty quick. We got somebody on our tail, it looks like. Um, I hear my machine gunners firing back there. Uh, this B-25 has all kinds of tail gunners. Um, I believe there's like four, I'm gonna say there's like four or five guys back there that shoot. So we're coming up on this, and that should be four good hits there. Uh, now we have a minute worth of uh, reload time, so it's going to take us another minute to reload four bombs. Uh, we're currently flying at about 15,000 uh, feet, so those bombs that I just dropped are going to take a few minutes to get down to the target. Um, once they do, though, they should do pretty good damage, and then we'll see the XP. And then also, if you look at the little uh, mini-map over there in the corner, you'll notice that the... Uh, red bar on that uh, target dropped and there's the XP we received uh, we got 81 experience for that um, it's pretty much set no matter how much damage you do to it um, I guess you pretty much get uh, the same amount of experience um, I guess it's based on the type of bomb you drop on it uh, they're pretty much guaranteed to always do the same amount of damage from what I've gathered uh, and I usually get about the same experience every time so that's that. Right, we're getting a bad network connection just as I'm coming in for a bombing run. That's not good. Oh man, I think we missed the first one. Uh, we'll find out here in a minute. If all four of those hit, we should be able to take the base out. If only three of those hit, then we may still need to do more damage to it. Still getting a bad network connection. I'm not sure why we're getting this. Uh, I've never got this before. It's funny because the first time I go to record a video of this game. Um, so we didn't completely take it out. And that happens a lot. Um, you'll bomb it and you'll think you're going to get it. But you just have that one little hair of red still left on your target. Uh, so we're just going to leave that one to someone else. Um, maybe come back for it in a minute if nobody else gets it. Um, but we're 9 seconds uh, away from reload, and we should be about 9 seconds away from this target over here. Um, by the time we reload, we should be right on top of it. And I don't like the fact that we keep getting this bad network connection. Um, I seem to be playing sort of okay. Um, I just don't like this network connection being bad. It's just... I don't know. So we're coming up on this guy here. Um, should be a pretty easy target to bomb. It looks like they're leaving us alone for a change, so uh, that's kind of nice. We're not getting swarmed by all kinds of fighters and stuff. And you'll notice the network connection there. I think I missed a couple bombs uh, because I thought I had dropped all four. I hit the space bar, um, which I have set to my bombing. Um, I thought I dropped all four, but apparently because of the network connection, I only got two, and I missed some of them, I think. Uh, also, you'll notice we got that uh, plus 40 experience came up with the base destroyed thing on it. Um, that means that we hit the other base over there on the right side. Uh, you'll notice it's missing now. Um, we hit that, and uh, somebody else destroyed it. So you still do get uh, points for destroying the base, whether or not you actually are the one to finish it off, uh, but you do get a portion of the destruction points. And yes, I know we're driving off the battlefield, um, but the only reason we're doing that is so we can try to realign ourselves with this target right here, um, which we're going to actually just barely hit, I think. We're going to be off a bit. And, of course, this network connection screwed up all of those bombs, so I don't think any of those are going to hit. I have no idea. Bombs are falling out of my airplane ten minutes after I released them. It's kind of annoying. I've never had a network connection error before with this game. Absolutely never. Oh, 
Also, the network connection might be a reason that we're not really seeing any enemy planes. I'm not too sure. We are running about 14 to 15 frames a second, so that's not too terrible. And I'm not really sure what the, the ping is. The thing is 861. My oh my. That's terrible. Uh, we missed this target over here on this side um, just because the bombs weren't reloaded in time. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll spin her back around and head back and hit that middle base. Kind of really annoyed right now the fact that uh, the network connection is jacking up and uh, yeah. I'm not going to probably be able to hit this. Ping is now up in the 900s, high 900s. Um, so that's not good. Well, I released all four bombs. I, I don't know if they're all released or not. Couldn't tell. crazy game. We got something on our tail. Or either that or some flak just hit us. But I don't see any planes. And I also... We got that zone. So that's good. We got a zone. Good job. Surprised we actually hit it considering the way the bombs are flying everywhere. Um, we're actually losing right now, um, just for the fact that it doesn't look like any of these other guys are doing really um, a whole lot of bombing on these bases or anything, and it also doesn't look like we have too many fighter kills. Uh, we have a couple guys with some threes and a four, um, but nothing too, too major. Um, also, it doesn't look like anybody at all is uh, blowing up ground targets. So that's not good. Um, I usually would try to go for some of the ground targets too. Um, assuming there were other people bombing these bases. Uh, but with this network connection and my bombs not being uh, very accurate, I would uh, prefer not to actually try for those. See, I don't know when these bombs dropped. I don't know if those are going to hit or not. Can't tell. And there's also a... What is that? F, F4F F over there. So if we come over here and look at the F4F, F, that would be the Wildcat. He currently has two deaths and no kills. So I'm not really too concerned about him. Um, looks like somebody shot him down anyway. Uh, so that's good news. Don't have to worry about him. Or not. Maybe he... No, no he's gone. The red I saw was just the red of the base there. So that base is pretty much toasted. Somebody else is going to drop a bomb on that. I'm assuming since there's uh, four bombers right there, they went ahead and took care of that. Uh, next we're going to go for this airfield here. Um, I think we're actually going to come in on the side, which is okay because we only have four bombs. Um, but if I was running another type of bomb load, like a um, 8 or 12, or 16 bomb load. Um, I think there's 8, 10, 12, and 16 loads um, you can get. If I was running one of those, I would want to come in uh, directly head-on uh, with the airfield. That way I can drop them all the way down the airstrip. Uh, but otherwise, um, with just the four, I would have been able to hit it from the side pretty easily. Um, but we lost anyway. Um, pretty poor game, actually. Um, I might have been able to do a little better had it not had the network connection problem and some of those bombs missed. Um, I might have been able to take that one base out sooner and uh, been able to move on to the next one and uh, we might have had a better chance. Um, but who knows. Um, let's see if this guy loads back into the uh, back into the battle uh, I guess the results screen. Yeah. Um, so let's just see if he loads back into the results screen if he does then uh, I'll let you know what we did.
And if not, then uh, yeah. So here it goes. Uh, loaded back in. Um, you'll notice no aircraft destroyed, no surface units. Base damage earned me almost 3,000 uh, of these silver lions up here, uh, which are credits. Um, base destruction, I got another 1,600 for that. Um, battle time, 28. 10 minutes and 35 seconds. Um, I don't know what this 28 is. Um, but I was in battle for 10 minutes and 35 seconds. Um, I earned 380 silver lions for that. Um, we had a 66% activity. Uh, so I guess 66% of the time I was in game I was active uh, with bombing and such. Um, mission reward. We got 280 research points. Uh, total we earned 4,900, so almost 5,000 lions. Uh, modification research, we gained 576, uh, so that's 576 research points towards my um, bombs that I'm trying to research, towards these guys right here, you'll notice, 576 of 1,100. So that's that. Uh, you'll notice here that we are 1,884 of 14,000 towards unlocking my uh, P-38 Lightning. Um, we got 749 points towards that. Um, also, uh, if I would have had a premium account, this is what I would have got. So, yeah, but I particularly don't really care. Um, I'm not going to buy premium. I don't have the money right now to purchase that. And then also you have this convertible RP, which is like, um, if you play World of Tanks, it's like free experience pretty much. It's what it is. You get all these light bulbs up here, and pretty much all these are is, this is like 76,000 free research points, which I can add to uh, this lightning here. Um, I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. If I come here to my research panel, I go to my lightning, I click on it. And then I click convert. Uh, what I can do is come in here, and then I can convert these uh, over using these golden eagles, um, which are like gold, pretty much. They're the premium currency of the game. Um, so you pretty much convert your golden eagles to free experience, or you can use them to buy premium planes like these fighters and bombers and all that fun stuff over there. So. That's pretty much that. Um, I'm working on getting this B-25, uh, but to unlock the B-25, uh, I believe I have to have six Tier 2 planes. Uh, so to get six Tier 2 planes, um, unfortunately, I do have to unlock fighters that I probably will not play. Um, I don't particularly care for fighters. Um, the only reason we have a fighter here um, is because I don't really have a good bomber, and... Um, fighters can be useful. Sometimes I get stuck in domination matches, so I'll run like a fighter in there just because there's really nothing to bomb. Um, also, if I run out of bombers, if they all get shot down, or if there's a real heavy uh, cluster of fighters around the targets we need to bomb, sometimes I'll switch into my uh, P-400 and shoot those guys down. Uh, so, I think that's going to conclude this little video here for the day. Um, Maybe if I can get my uh, network connection to stabilize out a little bit here. I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, it seems to be working fine on every other thing. Uh, internet works fine with my browser and stuff. Uh, so I'm not really sure about that. Um, but if I can get that uh, settled down, I might make another video or two here for you guys. And uh, I'll try to upload this. Um, so I want to uh, thank you guys uh, for watching. And remember, please leave a like below. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Uh, also comment and uh, let me know if you guys play War Thunder and uh, let me know what your favorite plane in War Thunder is. Um, so far mine has been this B-25 um, but I have a feeling it's going to end up being this uh, B-17 just because I like the B-17. So leave me a comment, let me know what your favorite plane in War Thunder is and uh, well, thank you guys for watching and uh, I will see you later.